What's up, Chiefs Kingdom? Got some rumors to hit here on a Friday, but trying to beat the Raiders report and new subscribers today. They've got 48 new subs today so far. We've got just 27. Let's pass that with this video right here. Hit that subscribe button for the latest Chiefs news and rumors. We'll kick off today's Chiefs report with the Brandon Ayuk trade rumor. I am Harrison Graham. Welcome into the show. Recent report out there suggests that Ayuk could get traded by the end of the NFL draft. San Francisco has a lot of big contracts on their books. A paid Debo Samuel. Maybe Ayuk is a player that they would make available. This one coming from Jack Hammer with the report. Uh, dropping the hammer with this report, saying that Trey Lance, Brandon Ayuk, Elijah Mitchell, Javon Kinlaw are some players that could get traded before the end of the draft. We've talked about Ayuk before, and I'll say what I said last time. I'd trade the number 31 pick for him. Would I trade more than that? I'd have to think about it. Maybe I'd throw like a day three pick in there. I don't think I'd do a first and a second or a first and a third. Like I'm not doing the A.J. Brown trade for Brandon Ayuk, not because I don't think Ayuk is good, but – I think you only do two premium picks for a clear number one receiver. I don't know if we know that Ayuk is that. I think he could be that, but uh, he's playing next to Debo and George Kittle, which is a very nice benefit to have if you're him. Now, he's certainly been rising year after year with San Francisco. So, you know, if he continues to put up bigger and bigger numbers, yeah, I would say he would elevate to that wide receiver one status. And, you know, maybe with the Chiefs, he would be a number one receiver based on what they have, but keep that in mind. I think 31 overall is probably proper value. He was picked in the 20s, uh, and he's lived up to those expectations, but uh, you also would have to pay him. You know, you throw him in here, Kadarius Tony slides down, MVS slides down. It's just kind of a primary deep threat. Sky Moore, Justin Watson, Richie James. Uh, working in there as well. Uh, I think that uh, the potential is certainly there for Ayuk to thrive here. His route running, I think, would be very appealing uh, for Patrick Mahomes, Andy Reid, and this offense. Uh, I'll just be curious to see kind of what the 49ers approach is here. Because I mentioned they're kind of in the Chiefs boat in the sense that they have a lot of big contracts on their books. They have to pick and choose which guys they pay versus which guys they let go or trade. We saw the Chiefs trade Tyreek Hill last year and a bit of a stunner. Maybe they go out and get a young guy like Brandon Ayuk. Better option with that number 31 pick, would you trade for Brandon Ayuk? Or would you, or another receiver, or would you draft a wide receiver? Type D for that scenario. I probably would trade 31 for Ayuk. You know what you're getting. Late last pick in the first round for, at worst, a number two receiver. That's pretty appealing to me. But if you want to gamble with the draft, go ahead and type D for draft. Next up here, re-sign Jarrett McKinnon. Could that be in the works? Brett Veach talked to reporters on Thursday, and McKinnon got brought up, and he made it clear that the Chiefs are still very interested in bringing back the veteran tailback. Here's what Veach had to say. Quote, he's certainly a guy that we love. Jarek likes to take his time and make sure he's ready to go. Uh, once we post, uh, get past next weekend, talking about the draft, we'll double up in terms of chatting with him. So a couple of things he's mentioned there. One, they're focusing on the draft now. Uh, two, Jarrett McKinnon does take his time. Remember, he didn't sign until like training camp last year. Uh, and three, saying that we'll double up with him basically means that they've, they've talked to him. Like, there, there's been conversations. I'm sure part of it is, hey, let's get to the draft, see, you know, how things shake out. Maybe the Chiefs draft a running back and they opt not to re-sign McKinnon. Uh, I would still do that, though, and then just cut Clyde edwards lair. You look at uh, McKinnon and what he's been able to do uh, as a rusher over the past couple of seasons, uh, you know, not super like, oh, in your face, like value, but his value has been as a receiver. Like this year, for example, nine receiving touchdowns. Uh, I think uh, almost 600 yards receiving. Like he uh, has been a big weapon in that regard. Uh, he's a proven uh, player on third down, blitz pickup, check down option for Mahomes. Uh, red zone threat. Remember that uh, December, January stretch? He won player of the month because he had, uh, I think, eight touchdowns uh, in four or five games. That was impressive. He knows the offense. I like the idea of bringing him back. Uh, go check out our sponsor. That is Z Biotics. Get started. Zbiotics.com slash chat sports. You know, I'm getting a little bit older, almost 30, going to turn 30 this year. So when I go out and have several drinks, my body doesn't respond the way I uh, used to be able to. But that's all changed with Z-Biotics. Their pre-alcoholic probiotic is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists. 
to tackle rough mornings after drinking. Here's how it works. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. It's this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. Zbiotics produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. It's designed to work like your or like your liver, but in your gut where you need it the most. Drink Zbiotics before drinking alcohol, drink responsibly and get a good night's sleep to feel your best tomorrow. So give Zbiotics a try for yourself and you can get 15% off with code chat sports when you go to zbiotics.com slash chat sports. All you got to do uh, is uh, drink this vial. It's like a little shot. Go out, have some drinks, get a good night's sleep. Next day, you're going to be feeling ready to attack your day. Zbiotics is backed with a 100% money back guarantee. So if you're not satisfied, they will refund you uh, your money back. Zbiotics.com slash chat sports code chat sports. Check the link in the comments and in the description of this video. The Chiefs need to re-sign Jarrett McKinnon. I've made that clear for a couple of months. Mahomes trusts him uh, on and off the field. Remember, he went to Mahomes' bachelor party after only playing one season with Kansas City. So that shows the type of bond that they have. Um, he's a weapon uh, out of the backfield in, in the passing game. He can give you some tough short yardage if you need him to uh, in a pinch. And I think with Isaiah Pacheco as your lead back and him as your number two, it's a good one-two punch. And then maybe you add a third back in the draft as well. Bring back Jarrett McKinnon. I absolutely think that is something that should happen. What do you guys think? Predict it. Will Jarrett McKinnon re-sign with the Chiefs? Type Y for yes, or you can type your in for no. Uh, what say you? Let me know down in the comments section below. Let's talk about the other running back in the RB room. That is Clyde Edwards-Alaire. Could the fifth-year option be exercised? Well, Veach didn't rule it out. He said they will decide on CEH's fifth-year option after the draft. I think teams have until May 1st. Uh, to opt in or out of that. Here's what Beach had to say. I don't think we've reached a decision on anything yet, but it's safe to say that once we go through the draft, we'll look at our board and look at our off-season business that we have to attend to, some different players and contract stuff, and we'll handle all of that after the draft. I'm sure he's talking about other things as well, like Chris Jones' contract extension, et cetera, but you just look at his path in Kansas City. Sure, his rookie year, 800 yards, you're thinking, okay, yeah, like – that's solid as a rookie, you know, not not superstar, but, you know, probably poised for a 1,000-yard season in year two. No, nope, more injuries, not not as productive, even less productive this past year, the emergence of Isaiah Pacheco. Uh, it just hasn't worked out, let's be honest. He has not lived up to the billing of being a first-round pick. If he was a fifth-round pick and he's had the numbers he's had, you'd be like, okay, it's weird that he's declined, but he was a fifth-round pick. He's a rotation back. I would be floored if the Chiefs picked up his fifth-year option. Doesn't mean he can't be here this year. Doesn't mean he uh, couldn't even return on a short-year deal after that. But uh, he's not a number one lead back. And if, if he's anything short of that, you don't pick up the fifth-year option. It just does not justify the cost. How many more seasons will CEH be a Kansas City Chief? And the answer might be zero. <laughs> I think he could get cut or traded uh, before the start of this season. Think about this. If the Chiefs re-sign McKinnon and draft a back like in the middle rounds where does Edwards Alaire fit Pacheco's RB1 McKinnon's your kind of number two receiving back and then you drafted somebody I think CEH's days are probably numbered in Kansas City maybe he's on the team this year but I could see it being his last if at all okay guys appreciate you for tuning in here on a Friday night We'll have uh, videos uh, covering you guys off on the weekend, Saturday video, Sunday video. Be on the lookout for that. And then it's draft week, baby. I can't wait for it. Hit that sub button. We're going to have you covered with everything. Live show Monday. We'll see you guys soon.